everyone. Christina here. Welcome back for my second capsule paper crafting challenge card. This was the second card that I created while in Hawaii. And um, it looks very similar to my previous video because I made them on the same day. And they have similar looks to them, but I wanted to have two separate videos for each card or one video for each card because of the watercolor technique that I used on this second one. This one is much more straightforward. I'm going to be doing sort of a, um, a linear gradient of color, and I'm only going to be using three colors. I'll be using um, the, the same ones that I used before. I'll use that pink, a bright yellow, and a bright blue. So the entire surface was wet before I started painting, and I brought in some bands of pink and yellow. I'm going to add even more yellow. I'm really putting a lot of yellow down because I know from experience in the past that once you start getting other colors on here, the yellow can get lost really, really fast. So I'm holding up the board and I'm twisting it around and moving it around because when I see the colors start to move, um, I want to kind of manipulate the way that they move so that they blend in the right order. So I'm trying to not come down into that yellow too much, but I do want to encourage the blue and yellow to mix to get a green shade. So I'm going to keep kind of going back and forth and adding more yellow and more blue and like try to pull down the yellow down into that color so that it starts to blend. But I'm going to bring in some pink here at the bottom too because I want a purple shade. Um, even if it's just a little bit of a purple, I wanted to make sure that I got that purple down there at the bottom because then I've covered all of the different colors of the rainbow. And um, I'm also going to be cutting this down to a smaller uh, piece of watercolor paper. So I want to make sure that the colors are pretty close to each other. So I'm just going back and forth and I'm holding that board up to help encourage the colors to mix. I'm gonna bring in some more yellow and bring that down into the pink just to get a little bit more orange. And then I'm gonna clean up any of the paint that's kind of sopping up around the outside edge. And then I'll hit that with my heat tool and until it dries. And using the heat tool like this stops the colors from mixing. So it's a great way to kind of control how things go. So then I use my little trimmer and I uh, cut this down to um, just a, a little smaller, well actually quite a bit smaller, than a 5 by 7 card. Now I'm going to stamp on my background piece and I want it to hold in place in the middle of my Misty. So I'm going to position it kind of over my cling stamp and kind of see where that goes and then put it down onto my sticky mat. Now this background stamp, unfortunately, I didn't know this when I picked it out, but it is discontinued. Uh, Simon's stamp no longer sells it. But um, you could use any other large alphabet stamp like this or even take smaller alpha stamps and build your own background if you want a similar look. So I'm going to be stamping this in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And this was the original idea for my card. I wanted to have a colorful background with the alphabet background stamp stamped over top in black. And um, if you go back to the beginning of my last video, you kind of see a card sketch that I did and it looked exactly like this. Um, but as we discovered when I was painting that other watercolor background, I didn't want to cover it up with the alphabet. So that's why I ended up going in a different direction for that card. So I'm going to stamp this twice. Um, I did re-ink that stamp and I stamped it twice just for a better impression. And it did darken it up a little bit, but the texture of that watercolor paper didn't allow for a completely uh, black stamp. And then took some gold paint. This is from my Christmas set of paints from Yuli Watercolors. And I just ran it along the edge. This is going to give it a little bit of a gold edge. And I'm doing this because I am still planning to use some gold glitter paper for my grading like I did on that first card. And I wanted to have another instance of gold on the card just to help them help it tie it all together. This is a very small detail. It's really not that noticeable on the finished card, but I thought it was a, it was a fun thing to include. Put some foam adhesive on the back of my watercolor panel, and then I put it directly down into the center of a five by seven card base. This card base is made out of some a Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. Took that gold glitter paper from Simus's stamp. I cut off a section big enough to cut out my grating. This is the best day ever 
a die set from Simon. And I, so I cut out the words out of the gold glitter paper. And then I also cut it out of some white cardstock three more times, stacked the three white, and then put the gold glitter one on top. So this is actually four layers, but the bottom three layers are white. And I also have that shadow layer cut out of white as well. So I'm gluing everything together with a little bit of Honey Bee um, Precision Glue. And then I put some glue on the back of my stacked die cuts and put those directly on top of that shadow layer. This is gonna give it a nice um, stable base for the words to sit on. So after I had that adhered, it looked so good. Look how fun that looks. It's nice and thick and substantial. I used my tweezers to clean up a little bit of glue that was squidging out. And then I grabbed the tiny words stamp set and I created a little black strip with white type on it that says birthday wishes. I did exactly like I did in that first video. And then I assembled my card. I just put that little black strip right below my big greeting that was adhered using foam adhesive. And that finishes the card. So let's look at the two cards side by side and you can see how they have essentially a very similar look, but just one has that black alphabet stamp. So those are my first two cards that I made in Hawaii. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be back very soon with another card that looks completely different. We'll be going in a different direction. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.